What's up guys and welcome back to another Pokemon Omega Room and Alpha Sapphire video where we're looking at some more possible Kanto Mega Evolutions. As I said in the last episode, I'm just going through the Pokedex now, looking at majority of the fully evolved Pokemon that I think could get Mega Evolution or would work well with Mega Evolution. In the last episode we covered Pidgeot, uh, or Pidgeot, however the hell you want to say that guys, I don't really care. Um, and then we'll see what else we we'll look at. We looked at Raticate and Fero too. So, looking at three more Pokemon's episode, hopefully. Three very possible Mega Evolutions, very you know, interesting as well. So hopefully you guys will enjoy this episode. Um, you know, if you want to, you can leave a like down below before we start. Uh, or you can do it at the end once you've decided whether you actually like the video or not. Anyway, so let's get started with the first Pokemon for today. As always, please leave feedback down below what you think of the typing, the stat changes, and the ability for each of these sets, I guess we can call them, for the Mega Evolutions. And I just want to know what you think, guys. So, I'll be seeing you in a bit. Wait, no. The video is going on now. But yes, one other thing before I start, I'm not really tired today, so hopefully I won't be saying some random stuff in the middle of the episode, like the last episode, which I hope you guys found pretty funny, because it was pretty funny indeed. <laughs> anyway, let's get on with Mega Arbok. So Arbok is a base poison type Pokemon, you know, nothing else, just pure poison type. It's a snake Pokemon based off of a Cobra, because it is backwards Cobra, except it's spelled with a K, but you know what I mean now, guys. Um, and it's based on a snake there, obviously evolves from Ekans, pure poison type. So, what would a Mega Arbok look like, I wonder? So this art I've got here is sort of a different starter one you usually see for Pokemon, but I quite like it. You can see it, the face on its chest, obviously, if it gets a Mega Evolution, the, the face there is really going to be built on quite a lot. It's supposed to be a scary face. Every Arbok's face is actually supposed to be different, it's told us, uh, we're told in the Pokedex. Obviously it's not though, because the game can't do that really. But anyway, um, so we assume the face would change slightly, so this art here looks pretty darn cool, because you can see the face opens up, gets two big eyes, as it sort of has already, but the eyes become more clear. And then we've got a large mouth with teeth on its main body chest sort of thing, and its head sort of... It's come out of his body slightly, obviously now the the um the round bit just under his head is splayed out in sort of like fingers almost. <coughs> Sorry, I'm ill today. Um so this head sort of come out a bit more. It's got a slightly longer tongue it looks like, and slightly sharper teeth as well. And then down its body it seems to have some dark purple stripes all over it. It looks really cool, especially on, on the back sort of thing down the side, so it looks awesome. I quite like that a lot. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much what Mega Arbok will look like. You can also see the end of its tail there, just poking out is a, a red colour, which looks pretty cool, it sort of um, fits in with the mouth colour. So what, what typing would I see Mega Arbok being? Well, I, I only see one typing, apart from maybe just staying pure poison. The only typing I can see for Mega Arbok is Poison Dark, because especially with that face on its belly, it does look like it's going to be very menacing. So a Dark type would certainly fit quite well. Um, stat change wise for Mega Arbok, I would see its attack rising because obviously it's a physical attacker, and I would always see its defense rising, uh, funnily enough. I wouldn't see its speed rising too much because it's, it's a. Well, snakes are fairly fast, I guess, but it doesn't look that fast to me, I'm guessing, um, especially if it got some sort of, you know, its, it's faces splayed out sort of thing, so it does have a slightly different sort of, maybe not larger sort of thing. Something on the side, so I think its defense would go up slightly as well. It might get a boost in speed as well, or a slight boost in speed, but I don't think it'll be as much. As the boost intends. Ability wise, for Mega Arbok, I've picked out two abilities for Arbok, not really in any way particular, but I think they work quite well, uh, at least for Mega Arbok. First one of these is Contrary, which is the ability that Mana Mask got, which means all stat changes do the opposite. So if you had Mega Arbok out and they sent the Gyarados in, instead of lowering your attack by one stage, it would raise it by one stage. So that's sort of could, could be helpful there. Um, you know, obviously I don't know what moves Mega Arbok gets or Arbok gets access to that could help out in that way. It has Coil, but Contrary for Coil is not very good at all. So it might be, um, you know, has to be used in a different way than a normal Arbok uh, if you had Contrary for a Mega Arbok's ability. The other ability I thought of for Mega Arbok was Defiance, and what that does is every time you have one of your stats reduced, it boosts your attack by two stages, which is really quite good. Um, it means if your defense gets reduced by one stage, your attack boosts by two. If your attack goes down by one stage, your attack also gets boosted by two, so you get a boost of one overall, I'm pretty sure. But that's pretty, it's pretty good anyway, because you're still getting your attack boost, you know, you're boosting up attack, stuff like that. It's really going to be quite powerful. I think the fight would work really well, especially if it's got a design sort of like this one, because it looks like something that might be defying the odds, I guess, being naughty. Um, that sounds terrible, being mean, something like that. Um, I think it would just work, work really well for Mega Arbok in general. I'm not sure what you guys think, but in my opinion, that's what I think. And that's pretty much it for Mega Arbok. As I said at the start, leave down your thoughts on the point, uh, well, also the appearance of Arbok, or Mega Arbok, the typing, the stat changes, and the ability down below in the comments. And I guess I'll see what you think, you guys think, in the next, or once the episode goes up, and I'll read the comments and whatever. So. Next Pokemon we're looking at is Raichu. So we have Mega Raichu here. So Raichu, everyone knows Raichu. Evolution of Pikachu. It's pure electric type. 
Some people say that Pikachu might get a Mega Evolution. I doubt it's going to happen. They're going to they're gonna keep it all fully Mega Evolved, fully evolved Pokemon. They won't do it. I would put my reputation on the line. If they do it, I'm done with Game Freak. I'm just done with Game Freak. <laughs> um, anyway, so Mega Raichu. What would I see Mega Raichu being looking like when it Mega Evolves? Well, this art here was actually from a fake Coral Coral scan that came out for X and Y, and people were like, oh my god, Mega Raichu. But it's actually fake. So um, you can see here its legs, its feet grow larger, its legs are a bit more powerful as well, and it gains some nice, um, know, it's got electric bolts coming out of its cheeks and its hands there, which looks awesome. Uh, its tail's grown a bit longer, and it's got a nice sort of spike on it. It's a bit more of a spiky thing on the the spike at the end, so it's spike exception. Uh, and its ears have gotten a lot more streamlined, a lot more furry. And its top of the head has got top of the head has got a nice little tuft there, which looks pretty cool. Um, but yeah, generally that's an awesome design for Mega Raichu. That's exactly what I would see it looking like, looking very menacing, very cool indeed. What would Mega Raichu's typing be? Um, it has to stay a pure electric. I can't see it changing at all, really. Some people say electric fairy, but we have to Dene for that, so I don't think they really change the typing. They keep it pure electric. I don't know what else they would do apart from the fairy, to be honest. So uh, maybe electric normal, but then again, we have Halo Up, Turn, Halo Risk. Not that I'm saying we can't have Pokemon because there's already a Pokemon of the same type, it's just unlikely, sort of thing. Anyway, so typing pure electric is what I would think. I um, have you know, no idea if you guys would think of that. So let me know in the comments if you do. Stat change wise, for Mega Raichu, obviously it's special attack rising and also it's special defense rising. I uh, maybe a big, maybe a, a good rise in speed as well, uh, but I'm not sure for that. But I would, I would like to see a special defense rise a decent amount as well because then it would sort of bulk up and be a bit more usable because at the moment it's, it's fairly frail, so it's not that useful in the higher tiers or many tiers at all. I'm not sure. I never use Raichu competitively. Anyway, uh, so yeah, special attacks boost will help it being doing damage and whatever, um, and then obviously a special defense boost will be good using, well, just taking more hits and everything along those lines. So, ability-wise, for Mega Raichu, what would I see there? I would think it would have either its hidden ability, Lightning Rod, just sort of carry that across and allow it to, you know, be a Lightning Rod, I guess. Um, but the other one I thought about this was possibly Motor Drive, especially if it's going to be a reasonably speedy Mega Evolution. Motor Drive could be really quite helpful here. Um, the only problem is the fact that no one's going to be using the Ledge Type attack on Mega Raichu unless you switch in on one after you've Mega Evolved. So you have to Mega Evolve and switch out, switch back in the end, something like that. Um, but I think Motor Drive will work quite well for it because then you get boost in speed every now and again. And yeah, general, generally Motor Drive I think would be a good, uh, good little thing there. But I, d I don't, I really don't know. Uh, apart from that, Motor Drive was all I had. And obviously it's hidden ability. Lightning roll would be pretty cool as well. Both moves are going to make it immune to alleged type attacks, which is pretty good. But uh, both moves, both abilities rather. But apart from that, yeah, I don't really see anything else really going on there. But let me know what you think down in the comments, guys, about Mega Raichu. What do you think of the design there, the typing, stat changes, and any abilities you can think of for Mega Raichu. You know, anything else you could suggest that would work quite well. Who knows? So, let's move on to the last Mega Evolution we're looking at today, which is Mega Sand Slash. Yes, Sand Slash is a pure ground type. Everyone knows about Sand Slash, it from Sand Shrew, Generation 1, as you might expect, because we're covering the Kanto Pokemon here. Uh, it looks pretty cool as well. It's like a, it's a shrew with spikes on its back, sort of like a porcupine as well. So, what does Mega Sand Slash look like? Now, I really like this art. It's a different style to Pokemon, but I really like it anyway. You can see here, it's got some nice, really menacing claws. It's getting actually thrown on its foot as well, I think, unless it has a back claw, we can't see in that art there. Um, gain some nice uh, or extra claws as well on its hands too, but it's also gained some nice. Uh, its, its spikes have now moved to its tail, which I think would be a, a necessity really. Uh, it's also got spikes down on its on its legs there, on its back of its arms sort of thing, on its wrists, which looks really awesome. And obviously the spikes have sort of just become a bit. They are not as hard, I guess. Um, don't look as hard. They look more leafy than spikes, but they still look pretty cool. And obviously it's gained some uh, no, like more fur on its chest um, and its body around its legs than in normal sand slash has, which looks pretty cool. Now, what would Mega Sand Slash's typing be? Now, I've got three typings here, it could be, I think, about. Um, first one is a pure ground type, staying pure ground, you know, that would be making a lot of sense, really. Second one is a ground rock type, especially if the spikes could gain, uh, well, made much harder and used to attack sort of thing. Rock type would be a very good choice there. However, obviously, then it's four times a week to water and grass, which isn't brilliant, so you've got to think about that. Would they do that, or would it make the uh, Mega Evolution too terrible, I guess? And the final one I thought was ground steel, similar to Steelix. Um, because that, that means that if, if its spikes hardened into steel and stuff like that, then it would make sense in that regard, I guess. But apart from that, I can't really think of much more well, it's free typings. I think that's probably enough. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> Ability-wise, or stat change rather, stat change for Sand Slash um, in stuff and that, uh, uh, yeah, stuff, Mega Sand Slash. Stat change-wise, attack and speed I see rising because then it'd be a fast, hard-hitting Mega Evolution. Um, 
because, yeah, I guess the hard, fast, hard hitting mega evolution, what else would you see for Sand Slash, really, apart from that, you know? Yeah, it's just what else would it? What else would you see for Mega Sunset? It could come, become defensive, I guess, if this spike sort of hardened up over its body and made it like a shell, or became sort of less like a, a shrew and more like uh, armadillo, I guess. It's sort of I don't know if it's based off an armadillo at all, but it could possibly be. But anyway, um, I'm going off track here. So attack and speed is what I see for this. Ability-wise, for Mega Sand Slash, really, um, the only ability I sort of focused on and sort of thought about really was Sandstream, which seems a bit weird, but it might it's a possibility for Sand Slash. Uh, Sandstream because then obviously you get your boost in special defense because you're a ground type, you're immune to it, all the other Pokemon on the field aren't going to be immune, or all the other types apart from ground rock and steel aren't going to be immune to it sort of thing. Um, so generally, yeah, I guess that Sandstream would be a pretty darned good ability. Um, obviously it doesn't have Sand Force or whatever so it doesn't get any boost in attacks but it could re could be good, I don't really know if that makes any sense, but I think Sandstream was the only one I could come up with. It could have Sand Force or Sand Rush or Sand Veil, um, Sand Veil would make it pretty OP because then it would uh, have evasion, but um, oh, well, have higher evasion in the Sandstorm, you get what I mean, guys. but it could have any of those really, but Sandstream's one I picked out just because it seems the most likely one to me, I'm not sure why, but it seems like it. So guys, that's pretty much it for Mega Slash Slash. As I said, please tell me what you think about the typing, the stat changes, and the ability, as well as the design if you want, down in the comment section below. And that's it for the video, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it, um, because, yeah, generally hopefully you enjoyed it. And I guess, um, again, leave any feedback down below. If you haven't already, guys, hit that like button. Obviously, if you liked the video, don't hit it if you didn't like the video, as that would be irrelevant. But I guess I shall be seeing you next time, guys. Thank you for watching. Goodbye, my friends. Au revoir. That was French, I don't know why I turned French, but goodbye my friends.